Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Angel Ross here at the S&P Factory. Thank you guys for tuning in again. I hope everybody had a good Christmas, man. Enjoyed the family and just, you know, got everything that they asked for for Christmas. I know I did. And I'm super excited to be using some of the camera equipment that my wife got me for Christmas. I mean, I really just enjoyed the time with the family, hanging out with my son, making sure that, uh, that he got everything he wanted and just, again, enjoy the time with the family. That's really what it's all about. So today we're going to be doing a Haircut tutorial, bringing the channel back to its roots, how it started. I used to do a lot of haircut tutorials and a lot of people have been asking me for more haircut tutorials. So I figured why not make another haircut tutorial for this Tuesday's drop. And uh, maybe I'll do one a month or something like that. So I'll figure it out as we keep moving forward and, and figuring out which direction we're going to want to go with this channel. If you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button and hit them bells for the notifications. I'm dropping every Tuesday. Before we get into this video, let's go ahead and run that intro. Alright, so here it is. A mid bald fade. On um, my young client, he was going out of town for Christmas. His dad called me up and asked me if I can get him in last minute. So I figured why not let's shoot a video since I'm gonna get him in so he can be fresh for the holidays. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go around the head and create a guideline. I'm using a fade blade and I'm using it all the way open to create that initial guideline. And I'm a big advocate if you've seen any of my other tutorials for working all the way around the head. Uh, the reason being is because when you're in a busy barber shop, man, you do not have time to just work one side at a time. I see a lot of barbers do that, uh, and I feel like it's a complete waste of time. If you've got that tool in your hand already, you might as well execute every part of the haircut that you're going to execute with that tool. So I, I love working all the way around the head. And, uh, and as I come back around, I'm going to close that tool down just a little bit, cutting more hair, and just stand right underneath where I left that initial guideline. Um, so I opened it up to go around the first time and then I closed that lever about halfway and then I worked all the way back around and now I'm going back around with it completely closed and every time that I go around I'm coming down about a quarter inch and that's going to begin to create that fade um, and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my brand new centennial trimmer and start to bald out the bottom and as you can see i left that patch on the back of the neck when i did that reason being is because i was going to go over it with my trimmer anyways so there's no point of cutting that down with my clipper uh, now i'm starting with a three guard and again working all the way around i got that three guard all the way open and i'm just going to work around the fade area and it's going to be a down fade technique so i'm going to start high with a three guard and then as I come around, I'm closing that three guard, just like I did when I set that guideline, just like I did when I balled it out the bottom. I'm closing it down and just working all the way around the head. Once I get it all the way closed, then I'm gonna start with the num number two guard all the way open, and I'm gonna begin to do the same thing. And again, every time I'm closing and opening these guards, I'm working down about a quarter of an inch. Now I'm gonna go with the number one guard, same thing, open, close it just a little bit work all the way around just beneath where i left off with the two guard remember this technique is just a numbers game so it's simple for anyone beginner to advance uh, to learn this technique this is one of my favorite techniques this is how i cut hair in the barbershop every single day just a numbers game started with a three went with a two went with a one now i'm using a half guard my purple zero and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to work it open and as I move around, I'm closing it down, but I'm bringing my fade down a little bit. So where I left off with the one, I'm working right underneath that with that zero guard. And you can already see that fade starting to come in. And I'm just working that line out using a nice C stroke motion, making sure that I'm not creating any other lines going too high with that smaller guard. Now to get rid of that last line, the old, the old school barbers always tell you what you put the line in with, that's what you gotta get the line out with. So I'm going back to my fade blade and I'm just bumping that last little line out, stretching that skin, making sure I can see everything. And then I'm gonna go through my research shaver and just put my finishing touches on it. And even with the research shaver, you see that I'm C stroking it out, making sure that I'm not leaving any hard lines with that shaver. 
Uh, this shaver has a middle blade that can cut longer hair, so you gotta be really careful if you're not creating that C-stroke motion. Now I'm gonna be using my Centennial trimmer to go ahead and start lining them up, getting that C-cup using the very edge of that blade, and just rounding it out, giving me a nice C-cup. I'm big on using a razor, so I don't like to dig too deep into edging them up because I know that I'm gonna go back over it with a razor. So I just like to barely tap it. These tools are very, very sharp. So make sure that you're not applying too much pressure. You don't wanna burn your clients or leave any scar marks. Um, so make sure that you're just applying the right amount of pressure with this tool right here. And for me, I'm left-handed, so I like to start on my right side and then work towards the middle and then go ahead and line up the temple peak point, angling it towards the eyebrow a little bit. And again, I'm just using a very light tap. I'm not, I'm not over it. Uh, I'm not putting over pressure on this tool because this tool is gonna do the work by itself. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start lining up that left side using the very corner of the blade. And again, my temple peak point. And you've, as you notice with my brush, I'm just keep, I keep brushing the hair out of the way just so I can see exactly what I'm working on. Um, a lot of barbers I see, you know, they, they don't brush the hair out of the way and they continue to hit spots that have already been taken care of. So now I'm gonna lay my client back and begin to razor them out, stretching that skin out and just giving them my finishing touch with the razor, getting it nice and nice and sharp. Uh, I did apply a hot towel. I like that it softens up the cuticle a little bit and it allows me to really, really get that good shave. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some enhancements to his hairline. Uh, I'm not gonna get too in depth with this part of the, the haircut, but if you guys wanna see a enhancements video, leave it down in the comments, let me know, and uh, maybe I'll create that one for one of the upcoming Tuesdays. But there it is guys, a mid ball fade, reverse fade technique. I did create a guideline but then I went straight into that reverse fade technique to get it out. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got something from this video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. Again, my name is Angel Rawls. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications. I'm dropping every Tuesday and I'll catch you guys on the next one.